Howdy everyone, yes it's true, I am interviewing Fibris, one of the owners of Crafters MC Skyblock and you are definitely not ready for the future updates and contents today we are gonna discover in this episode, so yeah, without wasting any more time, let's quickly start. Alright hello Fibris, it's an honor talking with one of the owners of the server I love to play on. Can you first introduce yourself to the audience? Hello everyone, I'm Berker, also known as Fibris, I'm 19 years old and I live in Turkey. I'm one of the co-founders of Tion Creative and Crafters MC. I'm currently preparing for the university entrance exams. What inspired you to create Crafters MC Skyblock for Bedrock Edition, especially considering the popularity of similar servers like Hypixel? And what is Tion Creative? Our main goal was to offer Bedrock Edition players a Skyblock experience based on Hypixel Skyblock. We're trying to enhance the experience by adding original contents and a unique touch to all existing game elements to be sure they're the best possible quality. It can be called as a company or a team co-founded by me and Ear11Dev. We create games, software and media. One of them is Crafters MC, our beloved server. Oh I see. Oh, so can you share some unique features or gameplay elements that set Crafters MC Skyblock apart from other Bedrock Edition servers? In my opinion. That question should be asked to our players to get answers from different perspectives however, one thing I can say is unique is, we try to work on every detail and make it perfect while developing a new content. We prioritize fluidity, consistency, ease of understanding and overall enjoyment for every content we develop. I remember discussing sometimes even arguing with irrelevant about a tiny aspect of a concept more than a hundred times. For example what color would suit a text in a menu or where to put something in the scoreboard. That's honestly really true. I find the server easy to understand and fun to play. The simplicity of all the things but all the features it provides makes it super fun. Tell us about the community on Crafters MC Skyblock. How do you foster a positive and engaging player experience? I like our community and enjoy communicating with everyone to keep the environment safe and enjoyable for everyone. We always aim to prioritize professional behaviors, comply with the rules without any exception, and put player satisfaction above all. That's a great mindset to keep this community healthy and enjoyable for everyone. What challenges did you face in developing and maintaining a Bedrock Edition server? And how did you overcome them? In terms of development. The worst part of developing a Bedrock Edition server is lack of documentations and resources. Non-featured servers don't have any developer tools or detailed documentations made by Mojang. So it's mostly a trial and error process to figure things out. That makes sense is why it takes so long for the updates. And how do you handle updates and new content releases? What's your process for incorporating player feedback into these updates? Updates and new content releases take a lot of time. And we're really aware of how this annoys our players. As a two-man development and management and accounting and marketing and literally everything team. Except moderation. We love you team. Everything takes a lot of time and effort. But hey, we're working on making the update intervals less annoying. And hoping that it'll have good results in the near future. We value feedback and player base interest while deciding an update's contents. In terms of content suggestions we mostly don't prefer taking a player made concept and directly putting it in the game, we rather take inspirations from them. For a two man team that is a lot of work, heads off to you and Earl for providing this amazing experience to all the players, your efforts really matter to each and every one of us. Are there any specific goals or milestones you have set for the server's future development and growth? I think one of the closest milestones is having 1000 plus online players at the same time. Talking about goals. I personally am very excited for the day that will be an actual network and release a new game mode, it may sound easy, but we want our game modes to be an awesome experience for all especially our competitive game mode, which probably is going to be the next one. I would love to see a thousand members in the server too, it's a long grind but it'll definitely be worth it, and yes I'm really excited for the other game modes too, and I'm sure everyone else are as well. By the way in what ways do you interact with the player base, do you host events, engage on social media, or have other methods of community involvement? Sky Canvas was a good community experiment, and we're planning to increase the amount of events like that. Wait, what was Sky Canvas? I handle the server's social media and try to create good contents that represent the server on there. Mostly on X and YouTube, sorry Zuck. Yes that event was actually quite fun. Players were going crazy to build something to represent themselves. And damn I'm getting some crazy information about future content. Can you share some memorable moments or success stories from the Crafters MC Skyblock community that stand out in your mind? Most of the memorable moments in my mind are from Sky Canvas. It was a lot fun. Other than that, I don't have any specific player examples but you can be sure that I follow and know about the
the player base more than everyone thinks lol. Lol, Firus always have an eye out for his beloved community. So what role do player suggestions play in shaping the direction of the server? And can you highlight any notable features that originated from player input? We take notes from every feedback that came from players. As I said, we mostly don't prefer taking a player-made concept and directly putting it in the game. We rather take inspirations from them. Some recent player ideas that got our interest are Galactic's auction presets and pledge freeze customizable slash home and slash back commands. These are not implemented in the server, but we've taken some inspirations from them for future contents. Yes, I understand. And I myself have a lot of fun reading suggestions in Crafters MC Discord. I'm gaining a lot of crazy info today lol. And yay they gonna get excited if they see this video. Do you plan to promote the server via any content creator to gain more players? And have you done something like this in the past? There'll probably be some paid promotions in the future. No specific plans yet, but it's a must do to engage with more players. We've done it two times before. So yay that makes sense. And can you name them if possible? Well I would prefer not sharing it right now lol. But we give importance to mentioning that. It is a paid promotion and contents like that. I understand lol. Well what do you think about other upcoming YouTubers creating content on the server? And do you have any words of encouragement or advice you'd like to say to them? I support people who create contents on Crafters MC as long as their content is eligible to our rules. I often watch videos created by the community on YouTube. Sometimes leave comments too. Even though we cannot give everyone the YouTuber perks for obvious reasons. We value every content creator. Keep it up. That is some inspiring words for the fellow content creators. Working hard to make good and enjoyable content. How do you manage server performance and ensure a smooth experience for players, especially during peak times? Because of the way Crafters MC is built, we can instantly add new servers, increase slots on demand. That's one of the main reasons how we can keep the server's performance in a good condition during peak times. Also Irrelevant spends a lot of time and effort optimizing the server and all related softwares. With all these you get the smoothest experiences possible. Yay! That is why I barely get any lag or crashes even though I play on 3GB RAM mobile Lamau. Irrelevant is the best developer for real. Reflecting on the past year, what are you most proud of in terms of Crafters MC Skyblock's development and community growth? We've accomplished a lot in the past year, especially with the community. It's hard to tell one thing. We were a little bit inactive in the last months in terms of content updates but hopefully will be better in 2024. Next update is scheduled for release in early 2024. It's fine. We know you're working really hard to provide us with the best updates as possible. And I wish to see some more crazy updates in 2024. And now I would like to end this interview with a final question. I usually ask for a word of inspiration for the community as a final question, but I think this question will be more suitable for today. What advice would you give to someone looking to start their own Minecraft server, particularly in the Bedrock Edition? My advice would be, put real effort into the thing you're doing and put the player satisfaction on top of everything. I wish these advices help some of the people trying to create their own community. And thank you so much for your time, Firus. I really appreciate it. It was really fun talking and taking an interview of you. Hope to do some more collaboration with you in future thanks for your time too have a nice day to be honest i never believed that i'll get a chance to interview an owner of a server which i love to play on but yeah here we are and it was really great interviewing virus and i hope to interview more owners too so i hope you liked this video and if you did please make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one ip port for this server is in the description if you are new to the server welcome and i'll see you in the next one till then see ya goodbye boys and girls